Hey everybody, this is Chris, and uh, today, not today, but DJI has gone and given us a firmware update. It's um, uh, 0.0.0500, uh, 0.500. So, um, what it is is they've gone and they've enticed us with these new, with some new camera settings, and uh, that's definitely something that grabs your attention. Uh, it is a camera quad. It shoots beautiful quality and uh, giving you more capability with the camera and uh, even better quality uh, or the um, puts you in the position to do make better quality with the settings they're giving us. You're going to want to jump on that update. But uh, I always proceed with caution with firmware updates and DJI is usually one you can completely trust with their updates, uh, but still I proceed with caution and I just kind of sit back and wait, especially with the Mavic Mini because I really don't fly it as much as some of my other quads, so I don't need to jump on, hurry up and update and let's see what this is all about. I'll rather watch some of my favorite channels and see what they say about it and um, I'm glad I did because uh, I'm glad I didn't in this case. I didn't update the firmware uh, because what we're getting is a motor speed error. And um, I'm just going to give my two cents on it and what I think it is. And what it is, what, what happens is you get this message up on your screen of your app. It uh, basically tells you to go and land your quad, check your props, change your props and uh, one of the ESCs will be beeping and it'll tell you exactly what motor has caused the problem. So what they've gone and done there is they've gone and set it to where it can detect when one motor is ramped up higher than the others give, you know, to, to hold that level. So this motor, let's say, is working harder than these other three to keep it nice and level and that's possibly because of a bad prop. So that ESC is drawing more of a current. A little alarm goes off on that ESC and uh, they tell you to land and check it and change your props. So uh, good feature for some but uh, right now it's giving you false alarms and these type of things when it happen if they don't address them quick enough you get into that habit of uh, ignore it it's fine because you're wasting your flight time, you're bringing your quad back in, you're checking it, everything's fine, you reset it, you go and start flying again. You've wasted time and, and valuable battery uh, flight time on, on just stopping and landing it and checking everything out for a false alarm. So currently it is a false alarm, uh, but still something you should probably bring it in and double check your props. But my take on it is I don't need it and I don't want it. Um, I check my props. I do a pre-flight check and I'm sure a lot of people do. So um, I'm not going to be up in flight and then all of a sudden the end of my prop flies off. Uh, check them real good and they'll be perfectly fine. Uh, I've been flying quads for years and I've never had any type of prop come apart on me in flight. Uh, so I think what they're doing is they're giving us something for uh, perhaps those who do not check their props or do pre-flight checks. Um, and that's perfectly fine because there are some out there that just simply grab it, go. Uh, it flew fine last time, let's put it in the air, let's go fly it. Um, meanwhile, in the case, something could have happened to one of the props. And then you get that my quad fell out of the sky for no reason there's always a reason and for something like that it's it could be a prop an esc or motor or whatever it but uh, i think they're just trying to put in a little safeguard uh for those type of issues and those type of owners that don't check their props and do pre-flight checks um so what my whole thing on that is like i said i i don't need it and what I would prefer is an on-off switch for a feature like that. Um, because before you know it, with a lot of our quads, you see this with a lot of quads, like Xeno's done it lately and they're failing at it, giving us all these alarms for our battery voltage and uh, issues like that. So um, 
that's just another one where I do good battery management. I know my batteries and I don't need those alarms on my screen. So that's the issue that we're having with it right now. And what, what they've gone and done is in simply making this, they've just, they've gone a little too sens sensitive when, uh, you know, inputting however they program it into the uh, firmware whenever, you know, their parameters are probably just a little bit too sensitive uh, for the voltage reading that it's pulling and it's going to be a quick little tweak and another firmware update. Meanwhile, I have not updated, like I said, and I'm not getting that warning. I'm not, and I'm not planning on doing an update even when they go and fix this and release the next version. So I think it's safe to say we're going to have another firmware update on this to correct that issue. And, uh, you know, some people have had this and then say, you know, they reset it and it's perfectly fine, but you know, it's going to happen again. And uh, my big concern there is when you're flying in the wind, even once they have this all perfectly ironed out, you're flying in the wind, you get that side wind, and the motors ramp up on one side, and you know, because it's trying to fight that wind, and then what do we have to do? Land the quad or ignore it? I'm but probably I'm going to be one of those ones that ignores it because I know my props are perfectly fine. So, in other words, what I'm trying to say is I think this is a worthless feature that they're throwing on us. Uh, it's more for people that probably are not checking and, and uh, knowing what they have before they put it up in the air. And uh, that's just my two cents. I'm not knocking on anybody or, uh, you know, calling anybody irresponsible. But what these quad companies are starting to do is just give us too many training wheels and stop the responsibility. You should be a very responsible pilot, check everything, you know, pre-flight flight checks. Very simple to check the, the tension on your screws, make sure everything's tight. Very simple to go through and check all the props, make sure there's no fatigue. Simple things like that. Uh, next they're going to probably have some sort of warning or something to tell us to remove the gimbal cover before we can even uh, pull it out of the case. So <laughs> you'll get zapped or something. Um, but you know, it's just, to me, it's silly, silly little updates that aren't needed. Focus elsewhere on things that are really key and important. Uh, and you know, everybody's really excited because you get a firmware update with some good camera settings to it and uh, to let, you know, allow you to produce some better video out of a quad that already puts out really nice video. Um, so you're going to, like I said, be enticed to jump on something like that, but then they go and throw in these little things that cause a problem in the meantime. So you can't enjoy the, what the feature is that you wanted to download for in the first place. So, um, that's just my two cents on it. I think that's exactly what it is. It's just, a You've got a little more current being pulled out of one of the ESCs and it's to, to, to give you the uh, alarm to land it and check your props, which you probably should have done before you took off in the first place. So uh, maybe they should just give everybody a warning before you start a pre-flight checklist. Uh, open up the app, you have a pre-flight checklist, remind you to check all these things and then you clear it and take off and fly. Um, I would much rather have that because I could turn that on and off or skip it. Uh, that would be awesome. So I think that's what these companies need to start doing and stop putting so many training wheels on that usually just end up having bugs and issues to begin with. So uh, again, I have not updated this. I'm not going to update it. I'm probably about two or I'm at least two or three versions behind. And um, I plan to stay there until... I get the green light from my favorite, some of my favorite channels or from reading stuff in the forums that uh, they've got something really good here. So uh, until then, my little Mavic Mini sticking with what it has and uh, I'm not up updating to the newest firmware. But uh, I just wanted to make this video, put in my two cents um, and uh, what I think it is. and. Uh, 
my little slight prediction that I think it's going to continue to be a problem, possibly in strong winds, um, unless they make it to where it's really not sensitive at all. But if it's detecting an unbalance of voltage between ESCs to where one's working harder than the other, if it's just one, uh, then chances are that'll be perfectly fine. But if it will detect multiple at one time, that's where I think it'll give us a problem in the wind. And that's just my prediction. So we'll see when they get this all ironed out and it's working properly, then we'll see how it does in the wind when people are out flying in high winds or you get that gust where it, you know, fights to hold that GPS hold or, you know, if you're in a sport mode or something, uh, we'll see if it becomes a problem then. But uh, again, that was just my prediction. And this whole video is just basically my two cents uh, as to what I think the issue is. It's not a big deal. You can continue flying, but it also creates that false alarm to where you're going to start ignoring things like this. And there might be that one time where you actually have a bad prop or something, you ignore it, and then you get that my quad fell out of the sky for no reason issue. So uh, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for future content. And as always, thumbs up on the way out. Thanks and take care.